The history of the shop, as far as I know, has been here 70, maybe 80 years. It's a general store and post office. It's part of the community. It's, uh, it's, it's unique for, oh, for the people that come in, for the banter we have. It's not many left. You know, this type of shop is, is coming far and few between in the Isle of Man, and this is the current climate we live in, and uh, we're doing our best. Yeah, I have a, you know, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Graham here now took over from Raymond, and this is just the same shop. You always know him, know him from time he was a little kid. <laughs> yes. Raymond, an absolute gentleman. Mr. Solby. Wonderful to a lot of people around Solby. He just enjoyed fishing, he enjoyed walking the hills. He had so many good friends. This was his life. This was Raymond's life. 185, please. Wonderful. I am now the owner of the shop, which was, you know, he, 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 I don't mind saying he left, you know, he's left the shop to me and my wife, so. It's a wonderful gift. Yes, I've worked a lot of t a time for him, but he just said, just get on with it. Just get on with it. It's yours, get on with it, which was very nice, but it's hard work, seven days a week. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Graham. You're welcome. I think the first time I was in the shop was 75, 1975. Some things have changed, but basically it's still the same wee country shop like. Morning, Jim. How are you today? Hi, all right. Bad, no, man. It's Hi. the best. Better morning this morning. <laughs> Better today. He's not blowing a hooli. Nope. I mean, get my barbs, paper. I like using the post office here. No, it's never changed. Only the person that's changed now is only Graham's took over from Raymond, but I would just come here when Raymond's mum was here in the shop. And, yes. And old Fred and I used to come here with my daughter, and you'd old Fred would go and hand the shop and get a bar of chocolate, and Maggie would say, I hope you're paying for that now, Fred. And, yes. Oh, no, it was, it's always a place of giving a bit of stick and getting a bit of stick from one another. Yes. Oh, no, it's a real old Manx. Store like, yes. Has it changed in my eyes? Yes. You know, I don't think the community is what it was. I just don't. That's, that's just my feeling. But it's modern times. Everybody's got motor cars. Kids have got motor cars. And they, they look for the bright lights, whether it's Douglas, wherever. Well, really, I've been coming here since uh, ever since I could drive when I was 16. That's that's how long is that? 60 years, over 60 years. How are you today? All right, boy. Good. good that's good, all right good. then. No, nothing, nothing yeah. much to tell me Not then. Really well, you know. yeah. well, it's the only place I can afford the shop. It's, Graham's prices are so keen that uh, that's one of the reasons. And also, one of the main things is this: he's a font of knowledge, and what you don't know, you find out in here. What are you doing with yourself, Dan? Looking around with all the engines. No. <laughs> you right. See you later. And you. Some of them come because it's convenient to them. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of the older generation still come and support us. You know, they get in a routine and they use their routine. You know, they come and still get their pensions. They get their daily papers, um, bread and milk. And uh, they also use it as a meeting place, you know, come in here if somebody wants a cup of tea, yeah, we'll have a chat about what's going on, political, Manx politics, um, football, and, uh, you know, whether it's right or wrong, that, that's the way, you know, it's just, it's a meeting place, always has been, everybody's made most welcome, and, you know, we'll always try and do our best for them. If it's not here, I mean, there are an awful lot of people that don't drive, isn't there? How do they go on if they want, you know, their pensions, and they want this, and they want that? Even to post a letter, go all the way to Ramsey. I mean, we'd be getting cut off from society. So it's, that would be a bit more of the them and us scenario, wouldn't it? I've been coming to the shop here for 70 years. You have cigarettes and get, get your cigarettes and off, you go on petrol. You have to get petrol, that. Well, you've got to have the bloody shop. You know, where are you going to get your stuff from? That's fine. Oh, I've got a paper, but I always, um, how are you doing, and this and the other, every morning, never miss. I, I, I don't even get anything sometimes, do I? Always come to say hello. Just say hello and go. Yeah. Make sure everybody's all right, yeah. yeah. Good lad.
Yeah. That's what I do every day. There we are, sir. Quit it is. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks, All right, thank With you. being here for so many years, it is it is part of the community. There's no getting away from that. You know, it doesn't matter who's running the shop or or anything else. You know, it is it is a major part of the community, but without a doubt. All villages need a good shop. At the end of the day, very good post office. You know, you still have to have them core, to me, it's the core values of what villages should have.